Uh, Sarah Douglas is a student, thank you for getting it, at UT Austin. She says the situation at her school is no different. Sarah, go ahead. Hi, Dr. Carson. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Um, I was wondering how specifically you would explain to college students how conservative economic policies would be much better for their future than policies um, that are very liberal, like Bernie Sanders? Well, I would uh, help them to understand what socialism really is. I think, I think many young people today think that socialism is being concerned about social issues. And of course, that's not what it is. It's, it's a utopian dream uh, where the government takes care of you from cradle to grave. You never have anything to worry about. That's the goal. That's the ideal. They all end up looking exactly the same with a small group of elites at the top who control everything, a rapidly diminishing middle class and a vastly expanded dependent class. So I would begin to demonstrate that to them. I would also show them the United States of America, which declared its independence in 1776 and less than 100 years later was the number one economic power in the world by creating an environment that encouraged entrepreneurial risk taking and capital investment. And I would explain to them what happens with regulations, that each regulation costs money in terms of goods and services, it's passed on to the consumer, it's the most regressive form of taxation that there is, All right. and it keeps business from growing. I got